All right, welcome YouTube. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. So today I'm going to be bringing you a video for the iPad. As you can see, here's my iPad. The video that I'm going to be doing today is going to be for a brand new case for the iPad that I just picked up. It's going to be the OtterBox Defender Series. As you can see, the packaging is quite nice, quite large um, for the iPad. So we'll be getting to that in just a moment. But first, a few updates. It has been a while since I've done any videos, but I'm going to start bringing you some more videos. I'm going to be doing them in high definition now. This will be one of the first with more to follow. Some of the next reviews you can look forward to seeing are going to be a iPhone 4, the OtterBox Defender Series for that phone, as well as some spec cases and some casemate cases for the iPhone 4. I also have a Samsung Captivate now, an Android phone, so you can look to seeing some reviews on some software for the Android since they're so modify you can modify them so easily and also as the cases hit the market for the Samsung Captivate I'll be doing a review on those OtterBox has some coming out along with Cydio and some other case companies um, but today we're here to look at the iPad so we're gonna set the iPad to the side and we're gonna look at the uh, Defender Series case it's such a big case I'm gonna just I've already got it apart I'm gonna just take you through the different pieces as you can see here here's the very external layer which is the silicone and most of you that are familiar with the OtterBox are going to be familiar with the silicone. One of the nice things that they've done different on this silicone is it's that newer silicone. It doesn't collect lint as bad. It does a little bit, but not nearly as bad, and it has kind of a texture to it. As you can see here, I'm going to move it in by the camera and let it focus in. It has this kind of texture to it, and it has the big opening for the back, and it covers all your ports. So you can see here at the bottom, there's a big cutout. One of the neat things about this Defender Series case for the, I, the iPad is that you can remove this back piece and you can still use your factory dock with no problem. Now the case itself is two pieces. You have the main piece which is the front bezel. And one thing that they did different that I like is they didn't include that big plastic piece on the front. As you can see here there's no plastic there. It's just one big opening. I like that because you can use your screen protectors. These cases are $90. Screen protectors are relatively inexpensive, so if you were to scratch that plastic one up, you'd be stuck. You'd have to buy a whole new case. But here, as you can see here, there's a screen protector on my iPad. This is the one that came with the OtterBox. What's nice is if this gets all scratched up, you can just put a new screen protector on there, put your, I, your Defender case back on, you're good to go without having to worry about having those scratches forever. And then you have the back piece, which covers the top. As you can see there, it's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get it in this bad boy. What I find that works the easiest is if you set this down, of course the button goes down, and one of the things that's neat is this piece here rests on that screen protector. So what I tend to do is if you can see here how I've kind of got that at an angle, kind of pulling up on that, that way you don't scratch up your screen protector as you're putting that iPad into the case. Now once you get here, I find it easier if you kind of pull out on that plastic piece just a little bit, see? Not real hard, just a little bit, and then push that case all the way on. By doing that, you're going to prevent scratching that screen protector up. Because if you just slid it on that whole thing, I'd be afraid this plastic might scratch it and give you some fine scratches on there. And you're going to scratch it up using it every day anyway. You don't need to speed that process up. Now once you have it in there, so you can see it fits in there quite nice. And one of the really nice features that's on both of these, if you look in here, you can see this kind of material. This is felt. So now they have a felt backing so that you can stick it on your iPad and you don't have to worry about scratching up that aluminum finish. Now, this piece slides on the back. And if you look right here, see if I can get it in camera. It's going to be kind of hard to show. But if you look right there, it fits over this lip and then it just slides right on. And it's, there's no clicking or anything, it's just kind of a, more of a pressure fit than anything. And you can kind of see the gapping in the back as it seals up all the way, then you know how you have it all the way on. You just push it on, it doesn't click or anything, but it stays on there with that felt lining on the back, it stays on there quite well. You don't have to worry about it moving around or anything. Um, so once you have that on, you, of course, do the silicone. What I find works the best there is to start at the top and work your silicone around. 
you just kind of get it started. You worry about getting it in all the tabs in just a little bit. First, you just want to get it on the phone itself. That wants to be your main goal. Is you just want to get it on the uh, iPad. You can worry about getting it perfect in just a minute. Now, this piece here, you just want to work it all the way around. And then if you look at this tab right here, there's some little, little nubs on it, or, and it kind of holds it right in place. And then all these little pieces lock in. So just I just take my time and I work my way around and make sure all the little pieces are in their little, their little openings. Might take you a minute, but once you have it on, there's not really a need to remove this case a whole lot once it's on. So, and it does give you a lot of protection. You don't have to worry about dropping your iPad or anything. Which for me, as much as the iPads are, it's worth spending the $90 to protect them. Because if you drop it and break it or something, it's a lot more than $90 to replace. There we go. Get all your little ports covered. There we go. As you can see, it has a real nice flush fit. Even this bottom, with the way it tucks in around the button and everything, it even is on there really nice and snug. So you can see all the way around there. Real nice and pretty. Now this bottom piece, right here, it just fits on. It's a little, just slides right on there locks into place and it too has some foam on the back there to keep it from scratching and it has some little tabs at the bottom that fit into the plastic piece on the case then you see once it's there it covers the connectors so you don't have to worry about getting dirt or anything in there your speakers are open your volume is easily accessible and there's your little anti-rotate switch And then like if you look here, you just want to make sure all the little tabs are pushed in nice and pretty. And there's your sleep-wake button. And your mic is open. And then of course you have a little opening there for your headphone jack. And one of the really, really nice features that I think I like most about this case is this piece. And they're like, what in the world is that? This is the exterior cover. It snaps over the uh, Defender Series case on your iPad. And it clicks into place, and bam, now you have this hard plastic protection for the screen. You don't even need another case. You just use this, and you're good to go. Walk, you know, carry it along, walk out the door, chunk it in your truck, whatever. You're good to go. You don't need it in the, another case to put it in. It protects your screen protector. And one of the really neat features about that is you set it down there, you go ahead and pop your iPad out of there, you may want to, you know, need a stand or something. This pops open, as you can see here, and it gives you two angles to use your iPad at. You can, it's more of a steeper angle, you know, and then you can flop it over here and have a different angle, depending whether you're typing on it or watching TV or something. So that makes it real nice, gives you that nice usable angle, and everything works good. Your sleep wake is easily accessible. Here, I'll show you your volume. It's real easy to get to, no problems there. All in all, I've had a lot of the OtterBox products over the years for a lot of different phones. And I'm going to have to say, for this iPad, this Defender, all the little things that I didn't like about the first few series of the Defender cases, they have addressed and they've fixed. This case, by far, if you have an iPad and you use it for anything other than keeping it in a soft little pouch and real delicate, this is the case to have. It makes this usable. You could take the iPad outside. You can use it. I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. They play on this thing every day. I don't have to worry about them dropping it or tearing it up when it's in this Defender series. Now, you can purchase this case at otterbox.com, and stay tuned for more videos.